Ockers are hungry and desperate for a long-awaited premiership success. That's the word from gun midfielder Nat Fife. But while the Dockers are eager, they'll make the most of a week's rest before trying to qualify for the grand final. Lockie Reid has more. Finals fever is captivating Frio. Even inside the four walls of club headquarters is bubbling along. Staff kept busy with inquiries, junior supporters creating little masterpieces for a chance to be part of the preliminary final, while the players rest and await their opponents. It's exciting, um, but it's fantastic to be able to have a week off to let any niggles settle down and, and uh, really get an opportunity to watch Sydney Carlton. But their motivation is sky high. I know internally that we're really hungry. Our focus is really strong and, and, and um, we're sort of de desperate for success. Making that last Saturday in September for the elder statesmen like Pavlich, Sandlands and McFarlane a driving force. I was talking with Luke McFarlane earlier in the week and um, he's been through some really tough days at the club and I've been lucky enough to play in three or four final series. So. I definitely don't take it for granted. Fans feeling very confident of a grand final berth. Phil Robbins and his custom-made bus is fully booked and ready for a trip east. His faith justified, especially considering the Dockers have lost one of their last 17 at Patterson Stadium. Oh, I think you know, on the weekend show that home ground advantage is just a myth. So um, We love playing in front of our members and supporters. They're fantastic and uh, we'll really enjoy that next week. The stats say the last travelling team to win a prelim final in enemy territory was West Coast in 2006. Michael Johnson and Gary Gibbetson doing their bit to be fit. Johnson the best place to play.